hundred trade unionists have come to Chicago, some by bus, some by train, and some by plane. And I think that has a message. You can tell them we didn't come here to swap recipes. They did come to create a new organization, an organization recognizing union working women. The Coalition of Labor Union Women was founded in 1974 in Chicago. And 10 years later, more than 1,000 members returned to reflect on the past and plan for the future. Much has been accomplished over the past 10 years. Who was and still is the leading voice for American working women? We have led in the struggle for quality child care in this country. We've led the struggle for pregnancy disability benefits. We have led the fight for comparable worth. We have led the fight for reproductive freedom, and we were a full participant and a leading organization in the fight for the Equal Rights Amendment. This leading organization, the Coalition of Labor Union Women, boasts over 18,000 members, women and men, from 73 chapters in 32 states, representing 59 unions. As I go around the country, young women will say to me that it's because of their activity in CLUE and participating in CLUE that they now attend their union meetings, that they now run for office in unions. I think that's one of the biggest accomplishments of CLUE over the 10 years is the kind of training and self-confidence that women in the trade union movement have gotten. I am the first vice president of my union, United Farm Workers. Uh, but what I've seen that uh, CLUE has done, it is given, it's a vehicle. Uh, where women know that it's okay, it's okay to go out and try to be the president of your union. And, it's, and not only is it okay, but it's a responsibility to take leadership in your union, uh, not only uh, to organize within your own organization, but to help other women organize within your own organization and to organize, of course, the unorganized. But uh, we do need women in leadership, and Clue is saying to women, you should take that leadership. 